Shataka. Welcome back to my channel. I'm in Sikkim and I'm totally loving it here. It's so beautiful. So this is actually my second vlog from Sikkim. So if you haven't seen the first one yet, go watch that before this. So this is my second time in Sikkim. So normally when tourists visit Sikkim, they cover the northern part of Sikkim, which is Yumtang, Lachung and all of those places. Uh, but since I've already done that, I thought I'll try covering different spots this time. So on this trip, I'm planning to cover the western part of Sikkim, which is basically Pelling and places around that. So today we're heading to Pelling. I'm traveling with my friend Shumnama, who's from Sikkim and her mom and uh, Pelling is like a 5-6 hour drive from Gangtok so it's gonna take us a while. We're taking a share taxi so that's about 300 rupees per head and uh, yeah the route is very scenic I've heard so I'm quite excited about it. Also it's been pouring since last night so the weather is quite gloomy and foggy and it's gotten cold as well uh, but I'm not complaining because it's absolutely lovely. So we're in the share taxi right now. I'm traveling with Shum's mom and Shum. Hello. <laughs> So we're about two hours into our journey, stopping to have some food, quite hungry honestly. So this is our lunch, it's looking so good. We've got some rice, uh, sabzi, dal, it's actually not really dal, it's called sisnu apparently. But sisnu, it's not sisnu. Sisnu, okay. And yeah, I'm just very hungry so this looks very good right now. made it to Pelling finally. I'm super exhausted. That car journey took us about six hours and towards the end it started raining. So that was a bummer. But we're finally here, checked into our hotel. It's called Hotel Garuda. Uh, this is what it looks like. So we've got two rooms actually. This is one room and the other one is also sort of connected to us. Uh, so there's this. So yeah, it's quite a spacious place. So ideally, I think you should start for Pelling early in the morning so that you reach during the day here. We would have done that, but uh, Shum's mom had work today. So we only started at like 1 and it's about 7 now. Uh, so today, I don't think we're going to be doing much. We're just going to be resting and relaxing in our hotel. And tomorrow is when we'll start our sightseeing. So we've just freshened up and we're heading out now. Our hotel is outside the market. So we're going to go to the market and we're going to get some dinner for ourselves. the next morning in Pelling and today we're going to be sightseeing here. Unfortunately, it's still very foggy outside. This is the view from our window. So it's a very beautiful view but apparently when uh, it's not foggy, you can see the entire mountain ranges there. So hopefully on one of these days, uh, we'll be able to see that. So we're just going to have some tea now and then head out uh, to see the skywalk. So this behind me is the skywalk, there's a giant Buddha statue there and what you see here is the glass bottom walkway so that's where we're headed now. So about to get on the skywalk. Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope mm. So we're walking up to the top of the Buddha and uh, this is reminding me so much of Hong Kong and the big Buddha we went to there
made it all the way to the top and that's how big this Buddha statue is. So this place was only built a year ago uh, but it's become quite a popular tourist destination. But even then not that many tourists here so I'm really liking it here. So Shim and I are just walking down from Skywalk to Pelling. Uh, we got here in a cab but we decided to walk down because the view is just so nice. Even though it's very foggy, uh, it's such a nice view. Don't you agree Shum? What do you think? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm from here so I'm going to be biased but yeah. I'm also really liking it. I'm not from here. So oh. yeah. <laughs> I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations so, Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting I heard that But then you came along and proved me all wrong The fog is starting to clear up and look at that view so those red flowers you see there are actually the state flower of Sikkim. They're called rhododendrons and guras in Sikkimese. I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better So Shim is now going to teach us some Sikkimese. So okay, Sikkimese so we don't know only some people in Sikkim speak okay. but uh, more or largely uh, people in Sikkim speak in Nepali okay. but the Nepali from Nepal is quite different okay so it's like a different version yeah, of Nepali yeah but it's Nepali only we okay. understand each other but we won't say the exact words okay and I think some of the words that everyone needs to know is first is Ambo 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 is like oh my god okay it's like no. Ambo Ambo oh, no, it's like okay Ambo Ambo it's so hot like okay, not okay. Atha it's so hot okay okay Ambo and you can and the uh, beauty of the language is you can extend it to according Ambo. to the intensity okay. so if it's too deadly oh my god then you're like Ambo okay got it but if it's just oh my god it's like Ambo Ambo just that then you'll come to know the intensity okay that's the and most important word I think yeah Ambo <laughs> Atha is obviously when it's hot you all okay. use Atha? no it's like Atha that's <laughs> just hot okay but if it's Atha that is that also like oh my god or just for hot? No, it's hot. Okay, it's, it's hot. hot. Atta. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and what's like hello and how are you and all of that? Hello is uh, so I'm Rai, so we say Sevane. Sevane. Uh, my mom is Subba, so they say Sevaro. Okay. And so my, it's different with like yeah. each clan. And Kuzuzampo is general. No, it's not general. We say Namaste for general, <laughs> but then uh, okay. like if I go to my relatives place then I have to say Sevane okay okay got it and what's like how are you how are you is Kasto Hununcha Kasto, Kasto Hununcha is like Aap Kaise Ho Kasto Hununcha yeah so but if you want to say Tum Kaise Ho hmm. then you'll say like Kasto Cha Kasto Cha yeah. okay Kasto Cha Kuzu Zampo hmm. Ambo <laughs> Ambo <laughs> Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Finally made it to Pelling. It took us about an hour. We had a lot of time, but we were taking videos later, so it took time. Laga. Uh, so now we're going to get some breakfast and then head to the monastery over here. For breakfast, I'm having some momos and some coffee. Uh, also, I realized I haven't really explained how I know Shum. Uh, so Shum, you want to explain how we know each other? We work... What? <laughs> <laughs> we used to study together in XIC, Bombay, yeah. and that's how we met. Yeah, so we studied together for a year, we've known each other for five years now. And oh my god, yeah, five, five years. years, yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. The momos here are honestly to die for. I'm loving Sikkimi's momos, so good. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. Done with breakfast. That was such a nice meal. We're heading to the monastery now here. What's it called? Pimayangsi. Yeah. And that there is the hotel we're staying at. And it belongs to Shum's friend Sangye. Hi Sangye Choren. Thank you. <laughs> and her mom and dad have been so nice. And I'm honestly loving this place. Yes. Thank you Uncle and Auntie. Thank you Pema also. <laughs> and the location also is really nice. It's right in the middle of the city. So anyway, we're walking to the monastery now. I was never the one to give up the ghost, no I was so stuck I... So to give you an idea of how much we've walked, we basically 
walk from skywalk to pelling city and then all the way up to this point and we're going to go to the monastery and then the ruins and then all the way back so it's going to be a lot of walking today so normally from pelling you can actually see the entire kanchanjunga uh, mountain ranges of course the main peak of kanchanjunga i think is the third highest mountain peak in the world but because it's foggy we can't really see it unfortunately uh, we're here for another couple of days hopefully one of these days we'll be able to see it but yeah the weather is actually quite nice right now kept on playing my part wanted to give up cuz nothing was changing but with you it's so clear and now that you're here i see colors and never respect drum cuz i finally learned my lesson cuz you grew all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me wanna try so we just went inside the monastery and it was super peaceful very beautiful we also saw the nine manifestations of guru padma sambhava and there was this huge sculpture of like the seven levels of uh, i don't know what it's called but I, even i don't know what's called i think it's heaven yeah i think hell to heaven yeah hell to heaven i'm not sure but yeah it was third is where earth is i think yeah yeah so we are just guessing <laughs> yeah so don't like take our word for it but it was very beautiful inside super peaceful uh, i think we're just going to chill here for a bit and then head to the ruins so this is the pemayaksi monastery and that there in the distance are the ruins which is where we're headed next yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you make me want to try forever i feel so free Oh my sweet baby We are now at Rabden Sea and there are two attractions here. Firstly, there's a bird sanctuary. I don't know if you can hear all the birds, but uh, we've spotted a lot of them and we can constantly hear the birds chirping. And second, there are ruins over here. So, a quick history lesson for everyone who's interested. Sikkim actually used to be an independent state with kings and everything until 1975, which is when it became a part of India. So, Rabden Sea used to be one of the capitals of the Namgyal dynasty and what's uh, left over here now are the ruins of their castle. So, I'm quite excited to see it because I really like history. We're first checking out the bird sanctuary which is right over here and i think to myself and i'm thinking out loud we won't need nothing else so we're inside the bird sanctuary and we do see a lot of birds outside but unfortunately all the prettier birds are kept inside the cages here uh, so that's kind of sad but yeah there's some really interesting birds here we won't need nothing else for the rest of our time finally made it to the ruins so this was quite a walk actually uh, distance wise it wasn't that much uh, but i think since we've been walking uh, from today morning i do feel a bit tired and it's uphill so i've been panting uh, but yeah this place looks so pretty look at this so well i will always be by your side cuz you grow all the pieces back together so we're eating some aloo chuda Show me explain what this is. Aloo chura is like one of the fast food of Sikkim. How pav bhaji is for Mumbai? Aloo chura is for Sikkim. All the pieces back together. Yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah you you make me want to try forever. I feel so free. Oh my sweet baby. So these behind me are the ruins and right there at the distance is the monastery we were at a while ago uh, so we walked quite a long distance So 
we're done at the ruins and I'm honestly so impressed with this place. It's actually so green and really well maintained. The weather's gotten a bit chilly now, but we just spent like an hour chilling over here because it's so peaceful and nice. So anyway, we're just walking back to our hotel now. I think it's going to take us like a couple of hours, hoping it doesn't rain on the way. So on the way back, we've stopped at this bakery over here which Shum is gonna tell you about. So what is this place? <laughs> so this is one of the oldest bakery in Pilling. Uh, my sister told me that uh, it was started by a monk mm -hmm. for the travelers. So don't expect great quality, but it's like a, it's like a special place. Yeah. Special place. And also the money uh, they make here goes to like a self-help self group. group yes. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Not many people know about this. Now you know. <laughs> now you know. So we ordered like a chocolate croissant for ourselves. I will let you know whether it's nice or not. Fruit's nice. Would have been nicer if it was warm. Mm. But it's nice. It tastes good. So we've been walking for quite a while now. It's starting to get dark but I think we're almost back now. It's a quarter after one I'm all alone and I need you now Said I wouldn't call but I lost all control and I need you now And I don't know how I can do it love I just need you now That's my mom. <laughs> oh, she's here? Yeah. <laughs> so the entire day today, if you're wondering where Shum's mom was, we started off together uh, at Skywalk, but I think she just got tired of us because uh, I was vlogging, tired of me actually. So she was doing her own thing, but we finally found her. out for dinner at this place called Kabur. Uh, this place looks really nice. The ambience is amazing. Lighting is really nice as well. This is what it looks like. So I've ordered myself some coffee and kuppa and yeah the music here is really nice so after all the walking we've done today we're just relaxing now. The dinner here was amazing. So I think I'm gonna end this vlog over here. There are gonna be two more videos from Sikkim. So be sure to subscribe to my channel, uh, press the bell button and hit like if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby.